Okay, started recording, good. So this should be this one here, the screen. Okay. Today is the 2nd of August. We go and I managed to correct the two of your lab reports, lab report two and three. I didn't upload to your website yet, but I'm, to your group folder now yet, but I'm gonna do it now, okay? Bear, bear with me and lab two. Okay, so here you go. Five, one, seven, two, recorder. Good. So we go. I will shrink this window and this. Lab two for group one, lab two, oops. Lab two for group two. Lab two for group three. Lab two for group four. Good. So next one here, lab three now. Lab three for group one. Lab three for group two. Lab three for group three. And lab three for group four. Okay, so he go. Let's see if it's all there. That's group number four. Yeah, group two, uh, lab two and three. Good. Group four, lab two and three. Let's see, group one, lab two and three. That's good. Group two. Lab two and three. Three, oops, lab two and three, good. Group two, group three, lab two and three, that's good. So we have, oh, everybody has this lab report corrected there. And you got my email, right? About the exam number three. I sent you all our email. email. And let's see what's going on. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Any questions about the exam number three? Exam two, we were not able to see our results. Really? None of you are able to see the results? Who, who was not able to see the results? Everybody? Really? That's odd. Uh, did you call, did you call connect to find out what's going on? Because I, I didn't change much the, the settings in there. So I do not know why you're, you cannot see it. Call, call connect first and and let me know what they tell you, because I, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm puzzled why you cannot see the, the, the exams. Okay, and let me know, you know, let me know as soon as possible. So if there is a problem in my settings, I will adjust the settings, and you'll be able to see your, your grades. Okay, can you see the grades for the homework, by the way? Exam one and homework. I presume you can, right? Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I do not know. Uh, I'm gonna look, take a look at the settings. You know, that's only chapters before exam two. Only the chapters before exam two. What 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 do you mean, Jasmine? Only the chapters before you you were you weren't able to see the grades uh, for chapters after exam two. Is that right? Yeah. So. Um... It seems that uh, we're able to see our scores um, mm -hmm. with all the material before the exam number two, uh -huh. um, which it was it was confusing because we had multiple attempts, but you're not exactly uh -huh. able to see your score. So it was a hard decision to make whether to retake the exam because of the um, not able to see it, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, so the homework, I presume that the homework, uh, maybe you cannot see the grade of the homework, of some of the homework because the deadline is still upcoming, right? Maybe that's the reason, uh, but let's see, let's, let's connect quickly to, to connect. Let's see what's going on there. Maybe it's the settings in, and I will stop. Okay, you cannot minimize. Okay, so you cannot minimize them. Huh? Okay, let's see here. I'm not sharing the window anymore, right? I'm not sharing the screen anymore, right? Correct. Okay, let's see here. What's exam two? Eighteen students submitted. I can see your grades. Okay, I was looking at your grades. I did see your grades. So, yeah, I can see your grades for exam two. Maybe it's the policy options. And you cannot see the grades for the homework. Huh. I, I think that the best way, you know, get, get someone to talk to connect. I, I am overseas right now, I cannot call them. Okay. So check with Connect and see if can, they can figure out what's going on. Maybe I, I put something in, in the improper settings, but I don't, I don't think that's the problem. Okay, can you do that for me, someone, you know? Call Connect and ask them, we cannot see our grades, the grades of our exams. Can you please, you know, for our exams and some of the homework, can you please help, help us out how to, what's happening there? Can you do that for me, anybody, anybody there? Right now I am overseas and I cannot uh, contact connect. So it's gonna be a little bit uh, cumbersome for me to do that. And then you send me an email and uh, if there is any problem on my side, I will fix, okay? Let's see. Review policies. Let's take a look at the policies. Automatic submission, time, questions, printing is not allowed, assistance type. Let's see, did I access, don't show solutions and answers. Access to hits is allowed. Numeric tolerance, feedback. At first, I can show no feedback. As the third of them, that, that's okay, that's centered, numeric tolerance. Yeah. Okay, let me share the screen with you. Maybe if I, I don't see any problem here. Okay, so here goes. Here's my settings, right? Time limit. That was the deadline for the exam. Let's concentrate on the exam, right? That is a, that's the most important. 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. the following day. Uh, basic time limit. Printing is not allowed. Questions are scrum, not password protected. Credit is given for accuracy. On each new attempt, the student revise their previous attempt. Okay, I don't see that's the problem. Numeric tolerance. Correct letter case is required. Feedback shown on due date. Yeah, feedback shown on due date. Did you access again the, the exam to see if you can see your grades right now? 
Yeah, I tried and I still couldn't see my grade. But you cannot see it, Anna, Annabella? No. Okay. After the first attempt, show no feedback. Practice questions are not allowed. Access uh, guide solutions. Don't show solutions and answer. I wonder if this is the one. I don't think that's the one. Access to my check my work. Let's access to my access to hints. Access formulas are not shown. Access to external links not allowed. Let's let's see what was the. I wonder if, it's, if that's the one, but that's an assistance type. That's not. Uh, Question titles are shown. Question point values are not shown. References are not shown. Let's see. Let's go to exam one and let's see what's the settings. I'm suspecting that might be either this one, question point values are not shown or don't show solutions and answers. Let's see what exam one shows. Yeah, that's not a problem. Question point values are not shown. Yeah, that's not the one. Those two are not the one because you are able to. I am suspecting that the problem must be there on on the. the feedback on the last one after the first attempt. It said uh, no feedback. No feedback. Let's see here. Uh, when we click on this and to attempt, it says instructor is not displaying score right now. Let's see here. When we click on exam two attempt. So can, can, can you type that? For, can, can you say again, what did you say? Uh, so on under feedback on exam two, it said uh, show no feedback. Show no and feedback. And on this one, it really? says total scores. Yeah, and which line is it? One, two, there are one, two, three, four lines, right? Which one is, is, it, is it line that says yeah, so that? On all three of these, it says show total scores only, but on exam two, it said uh, no feedback. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so that must be the problem. Uh, total scores only, okay. Let's see if it fixed the problem. Hopefully you'll be able to be able to fix it. Policies. Okay, feedback. Okay, yeah, no feedback. Okay, so it looks like I have to, to check it. Total scores only, right? That's what I have to do. Okay, let's see. I don't want any feedback, but the total score, feedback on the question, but, uh, but I want you to see the score. So I believe there is a, okay, let's see, edit. So no, ah, yeah, okay. So total score, yep. For some reason, it was not properly. Let's see if it's gonna, you can see that. Okay. But, but did you see total score before the due date? Huh. It was this one, third one was checked. See that? I do not know why it didn't, sh yeah. See that? Total score before due date was checked for the third one. So I do not know what, why we're able, we're not able to do that. Save us the false setting. Let's see if you can see it now. Okay. Go ahead and see if you can see it now. Uh, let me know if you can see it now and I will check the homework. Great shows. Now it shows? Yeah, it, yeah, isn't that strange? Yeah, uh, it doesn't, maybe maybe they don't show if you get it right in the first or second attempt, but if you go through the third attempt, then they show you, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is, which is kind of awkward, right? Now, so we may have a similar problem with the homework, right? Since you cannot see the, the correct or incorrect. Let's see how I'm gonna get there. Uh, assignment settings, enable property, save, review, and assign. Uh, I wonder if I have to do that. Save and exit. Let's save it. 
Even makes it good. Now, oh, you are talking about homework, chapter 15, 16, 17, and 18. You cannot see. Is that what the problem is? No, I could see it now. Really? Even, okay, yeah. 15, 16, but you couldn't see it before, right? I couldn't see exam two, but I could see the, I was letting you know that I could see all the chapters before exam uh -huh. two. Okay. Okay, so, so the homework is, homework is not a problem. The problem was just no. the exam two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so that's good. Now the problem is resolved. Uh, okay, I can understand why 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 you couldn't see now because uh, you know the third the third attempt it was allowing you to see the score the total score, but not a, but if you're getting just the first and second attempt you are not for some reason you know which is kind of awkward you know they wouldn't let you see the the the, the total score. Okay, good. So. So if you any recording, who can see your messages? Recording, oh, okay. Okay, so if you don't say anything, I am uh, I am assuming every the problem has you know been resolved for everybody, right? So let's go now at the lecture. No, let's lecture now. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at the lecture as well, lecture syllabus. And we're going to take a look also at the notes of the syllabus. Lab. So let's get the syllabus of the lab as well. Lecture notes. Okay. Lab notes. Enable it. It's not what I want. That's the lab. Okay, that's the lab. I want to show you the lecture first. Let's see if I can move this guy in the way of my windows. Mm. Yep. Okay. Lecture notes right in here. Okay, so here you go. I broke down, here you go. Exam three, we finished we finish chapter 18 already, okay? Chapter 18, the videos for chapter 18 is a mix, mixture of uh, lecture videos and lab videos. So I want you to, you know, get the, the lab videos as well to help you with the lecture. So here you go. For, for the exam three, it's, it's not gonna be chapter 16, out of all of chapter 16, you know, it's going to be part of chapter 16, part of chapter 18, and chapter 17. Okay, some things on chapter 17 you can skip it. Okay, and I, I am, um, I even, you know, put a, a note here what is lab video, what's where is the material for the, you know, for the lecture. If the material for the lecture is in a lab video, okay, I put it here lab video. Dielectric, you know, I cover, I'll cover that in the in the lab videos. Okay, so here you go. Motion, yeah, we did this one. It's a lecture video. 
conductors in electrostatic equilibrium, Gauss's law, that's also a lecture video, that's a lecture video, we're skipping 17.3, conservation of energy. I did a video for this one, okay? Already have a lecture video. Capacitors is a lab video. Dielectric is a lab video. Energy, oh, I did a video for that, that one and uploaded lecture video. Electric current, EMF and, and circuits, Microscop microscopic view of the current, resistance and resistivity, okay? So there are videos for every one of those. So if you have any problems locating those videos, let me know. Okay, right now, okay, I need to do videos for this one, the Kirchhoff, this one resistors in series in parallel we did in the lab. So whatever material we covered in the lab for resistors in series in parallel is already there. Capacitors in series, we didn't do capacitors in series for a lab, but I uh, will prepare a video, a lecture video for that. I uh, will prepare a lecture, but, but that, that's for the final exam. That's material for the final exam. We're already there, right? Power and energy, I covered that in the lab. And RC circuits, uh, it looks like we're gonna cover the, the lab today. Let's make sure here, what is the lab today? Okay, yeah, today is the second, of, yeah, we're going to cover that today in the lab, RC circuits. And let's see if we have time for magnetic fields. That's lab. Okay, if you don't have time for magnetic fields, we postpone it to the next class. I want to give preference for those one, two, three, four, okay. For those that uh, we're, we're gonna have a, a lab report. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the virtual lab number seven. Lab handouts, RC circuits, corrected. I want this one right in here. Let's see what's going on here. You're going to have to do this class. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Okay, okay, Annabella, uh, let's see here. Annabella has a question, I'm gonna reply to her, hang in there. Okay, so we go virtual lab, capacitors and RC circuits. Right. Well, we steady capacitors already. Okay. And we know about capacitance. And now what we're going to do here is, you know, learn about RC circuits. What happens when you combine a resistor with a capacitor? Okay. So, that's what RC stands for. RC stands, you know, a circuit with a resistor and a capacitor. So here you go. Let's lab notes, this one right in here. That's lab notes. Okay, not what I want. Trying to hide those things here from you. Right now I have only one screen. When I have two screens, everything is much, much easier for me to do. <laughs> so 
we go. That uh, yeah, that's what we did before, right? We go. 28th of July. Okay, resistors in series and parallel and power of resistors. Now, let's go here for August 2nd, 21. Okay, I'll correct the report for labs two and three and upload it to your group folder. Check your grade by opening the correct lab report. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna take this one out. That's for the last semester. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, by the way, don't forget the, uh, it came to my, uh, some uh, one group, one group, one group did not do, did not do the title page, okay? The title page correctly in both reports. In both reports, make sure, make sure you follow instructions for the report in the syllabus. Okay, so. We are doing yeah, download the handout for lab seven, right? Click on the link to go to the page, to go to the fat page. You let's let's see, maybe you don't need to do that. Let's let's take a look here. Hopefully the link here is updated. Okay, let's see. So if I can hand it on people keep it. One done. Let's see, okay, then uh, what's going on here? Oh gosh, uh, look for a map. Something happened here. Oh, hang in there. Let's try it again. This side. Let's see if you can go there. It's not going to my download for some reason. It must be here. Uh, <laughs> more apps. It's like, uh, it looks like we have a problem here with the Java. Let's see if that's the problem. Let me sort that out here. Anybody uh, was able to open the simulation? No. 
Okay, let's see if we can get another simulation here. Physics, we want the most likely that link there is an old one. Okay, electricity, electricity, okay. Motion sound. We want electricity, magnets, and, and circuits. Let's see RC. Let's see if we have RC circuits here. Uh, what a shame they don't have RC here. Circuit construction kit. Capacitor land basics. Hmm. DC, vehicle land. Let's see if we can do is this one. Let's see if this one has capacitors in there. Introduction, secret construction kit. Right, this one here. Let's see if they have capacitors here. Oops. If they don't, if they don't have it, we'll do the, the next one that is the magnetic field. Light bulb. Now we have battery. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have a capacitor here. Battery. Wire battery, resistor switch, light bulb. Hmm. Okay, this one doesn't have capacitor in there. Let's see the other one. Mm -hmm. Motion down. Capacitor lab basics. Let's try this one here. Let's see if he has a capacitor there. If it doesn't have, we, we will do the next lab. Let's see capacitor here. Nope, no capacitors either. There is this one here. Let's see if he has a capacitor. This one is supposed to have a capacitor. It looks like I clicked the wrong one. Let's see, yeah, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, this one here that I was talking about. Capacitance light bulb. Let's see if we can. Uh, we cannot add a resistor to this one. No, unfortunately, we can't. Capacitor light bulb. This one we can. Yeah, we can add a light bulb, but not a resistor. Uh, okay. Let's do one 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 last try on that uh, on that simulation if we cannot get it working, so we skip it. This is a nice experiment, but uh, as you can see, you know, there's a note here from last, from last time I taught this, this one. You gotta get a Java installed there. Let's see about for teachers, translation related really software requirement. Here you go. Okay, here you go. Microsoft Windows XP Vista, latest version of Java. Okay, software requirement. Let, let's try that. If it doesn't work, 
we skip this one and we do we do the next one, the next lab simulation. Okay, so here you go. Let's get Java. Oracle. Okay. Let's change it for releases. Start using you. Okay, you have the tech that you're using Google Chrome. and might be unable to use the Java plugin from this browser. We're starting with version 42. Chrome has disabled this standard way in the browser plugin. More info. Okay. No longer support. Okay, so it looks like Chrome wouldn't work. We have to use, let's, let's try this one here. Let's try Microsoft. I'm using Chrome browser, Google Chrome browser. Let's try the Microsoft browser. Here we go. Let's see. Edge browser does not support plugins and therefore will not run Java. Oh my goodness, switch to a different browser. Internet Explorer, for instance. Let's see if I have Internet Explorer here. Okay. Internet Explorer, yep. Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer, here you go, that's the one. Okay, that's Internet Explorer. Suppose it should work with Java. Okay. When you when your Java installation completes, you may need to restart your browser. Close. Okay, good. It's all browser windows and reopen to enable Java installation. Agree and start free download. Let's see if it's gonna it's gonna work. Okay, here's my Java. I'm installing Java in my computer. Some of you may already have Java there, but make sure you use Internet Explorer. Don't use Microsoft Edge, don't use Google Chrome. Okay, so I believe I have it. I have it installed. And he said that we have to restart the browser. Okay. Oh, here you go. It's still in progress. Java. Okay. Installing, installing, installing. Successfully installed Java, that's good. You'll be prompted when Java updates are available. Always install updates to get the latest performance in security. Let's see. And let's try to run that now, right? You go up and run. Explorer. Oh, 
Okay. Java enable, yep. Yep. Enable and let's get the link. So now browse Microsoft Edge. No, I don't want Microsoft Edge. I want Microsoft Internet Explorer. Let's go here. Okay, that's the one I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be go. Yeah, that's the one I'm supposed to be using. Good. Why are you now browsing Microsoft Edge? I don't believe it. Uh, that's like one. No, it doesn't work better. But right, so let's see. Let's see if it's gonna work or not. You see, you see. Quick construction kit AC virtual. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one. Let's see if we can get it now. So quick construction. Because this type of file can harm your computer. No, this one doesn't keep it. Okay, completely downloaded. Downloads, here you go. The other one. Star. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yep, it's working. Okay, it's working. Let me accept that. Okay, it's working for me. How are you folks doing? So you got what you have to do in order, you have to install Java. Okay, for this one, you have to install Java once you, but in order to install Java, you have to use internet, the browser Internet Explorer. Okay. Don't use Google Drive, Google Chrome. Don't use Microsoft Edge. Okay. And then once you install Java, then it looks like you can run. You can run this simulation with any, any browser. So the first step is to download Java using Internet Explorer. That's the first step. Hmm. And here you go. Just to make sure, yeah, yeah, it's working. And then we can put the resistor there. Let's see, yeah, we can put the resistor there. We have battery, resistors, good. So I am in good shape here. I need to know about you folks. We start. So I'm gonna take attendance and then, and then when I call you, you tell me how you're doing there. Okay, so he go, Bella Mesqua, are you in good shape there, Bella? Yeah, yeah. Okay, did you download the Java? Did you manage to open the software? Yeah, it's just loading right now. Ah, okay, good. But don't forget, don't forget, the, in order to download Java, you must have Internet Explorer. 
I had Google Chrome here. I had uh, I was trying to run with Microsoft Edge, but it didn't work. Okay, so it has to have a Internet Explorer. Good. So you you're downloading. You shouldn't finish, right? Yes. Okay. So let me put a note here. I will get back to you. Maybe after. Okay. Questions. Go download. I want to put DS for download. What about Annabella Bowers? How are you doing there, Annabella? Hey, I tried to download it, but um, I'm using the school computer and it says it was blocked because oh. it's like harmful to the computer. So it's not letting me choose the option to download Java. Okay. Are you using Internet Explorer as the browser? Okay, so if it's telling you that uh, is is dangerous, you know, just just go ahead and click it, keep it default, just like uh, I did too. Okay, you can put like okay. the choice, you know, keep the file. You have the choice whether to download or not to download. Okay, Sarah. Um, it says that it's still downloading. It's been a minute, but I'm just huh? gonna keep waiting. Very slow. Okay, you're downloading Java. I'm downloading something to open it. Uh -huh. Yes. It must, must be Java, right? Okay. Probably. Java. Yeah. Yeah, I am in Brazil. We're yeah, just... already managed to, to download it. <laughs> yeah, it's just slow, but <laughs> so, it's working. So I managed to do that. If I if, if I can do it from Brazil, you may be able to do this from the US, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Carly. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay. Well, how how is your progress there? Did you manage to download Java? Um, I'm downloading Internet Explorer first, and then ah, I have to download Internet Java. Internet Explorer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So download the Explorer. Mahedi, how are you doing there, Mahedi? Um, same thing. I'm trying to download Internet Explorer. Explorer. Wow. Okay. Wesley. Wesley, there. Let's see if Wesley is here. You can now send Google. Oh, okay, good. So you're there for some reason. Okay, my mic isn't working. Okay. Yeah, just type there in the in the chat box. Okay, Mike, uh, Wesley. Uh, you download it? What, what did you download? The Java? Okay, okay. Did you manage to install it? Did you manage to install it? Okay, good. Now the next step, you can download the, you go to, to that link in the, in the, in the handout, right? And if everything is fine, you'll be able to, to run the simulation, okay? Okay, good. So you download the Java, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put J for Java because you already have Java. Ada, how are you, how you doing there, Ada? I'm here. I'm waiting for the Explorer to finish downloading on my laptop. Okay, waiting for the Explorer, right? Okay, good. Jordan Tuto? I'm here. Um, I downloaded Java, but the file still isn't wanting to work for... Did you use Internet Explorer to download Java? Yes. Okay. And, and what message are you getting? You're getting a message that doesn't, you know, cannot download. What exactly is happening there? Saying, um, hold on, let me try to open it again. It says, um, since it's an older file, my computer's saying that it may contain viruses, so it doesn't want to open it. Okay, but don't you have an option to run it anyway, to keep it? Uh, it's not giving me an option to do that. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what we're going to do about that. Uh, Jordan, uh, I'm talking to Jordan, right? Correct. Okay. So, okay. Uh, no option to keep Java. There it is. Danica, are you sure? I'm downloading Java right now. Oh, okay, good. And you're using Internet Explorer, right? Yes. Okay, downloading Java. Shagar Nurali. 
Um, I'm here and I'm also downloading Java. Okay. Daniela Rodas. I'm here. I'm downloading Java. Good. Dior Simon. Uh, I'm here and I'm currently downloading Java. Okay. Freya, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm also downloading Java. Okay, good. Next, Peter Gerks. Let's see, is Peter here? Why? Peter, yeah, it doesn't look like Peter is here, right? Ana Ponce? Yes, I have a simulation running. Oh, you already have simulation running. Wow, yes. nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Just like me, running. So you saw the same, uh, the same, uh, you know, same screen, the same window that I that I see, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, that's great. Kaylee? I'm here. Okay, how's, how's your situation there, Kaylee? Um, it's, it's running. It's running? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I already had the um, applications downloaded on my computer. Oh, great, great, great. Alisa? I'm here. I'm downloading Java. You're downloading Java. Okay. Let's download Java as DJ. Okay. Uh, Jasmine, what's uh, how are you doing there, Jasmine? Let's see if Jasmine is here. I can't hear you, Jasmine. If you're talking to me, I cannot hear you. I'm here. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm downloading it still. My you're computer. downloading what, Java? Yeah. Okay, downloading Java. Okay. So, so let's do the following. Let's take a break, right? While while we're in a break, you know, keep on downloading the Java. Let's do a 15-minute break. And if you have any problems, you know, let me know. And, uh, you know, since, uh, you know, yeah, if you have any problems and you still cannot run the, the, the software, I just had this idea right now. Okay, if you cannot run the software, we just use the my own data that I collect while we do the simulation. Okay, you follow it step by step how you do. Okay, so, but try to download everything so we can do the simulation. Okay, so I see you, let's see. Uh, 125 here in Brazil is a little bit late, uh, a little bit later. Here in Brazil is four hours more. It's uh, 5 525 here. <laughs> okay, so I see you in uh, break 15 minutes. Lab notes. Okay. Uh, break from five twenty five to forty. Okay. So I'll see you in fifteen minutes. In this meantime, again, you know, just continue downloading what you are downloading there, and uh, let's see how we how you do and, and i'll check back with you when i back i'm back okay see you soon
Okay, I'm back here. So how are you doing there with your simulation? Any good news from those who couldn't get it before? So let's see, and let's go one by one. Yeah, Bella, any any lucky there, Bella? Yeah, it's it's working. Uh, you you're running everything. Uh, the simulation is running fine. Yeah, it's just a little slow. Okay, okay. Annabella, what about you, Annabella? Um, I'm not just yet, not done. Not yet. So did you so, did you download Java? You got Java downloaded? Some of them. Some of them. Okay. Okay, not yet. Okay. Sarah Cabrera. I'm at 78% downloading. Ooh, of what? Java or what? Yeah, the Java. Wow, it's going very slowly. So it's really, really slow. Yeah. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. Okay. Is that because of your computer or is your internet connection? Do you know why, why is that? Um, usually everything downloads really quickly. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. So, um, I don't but, know. but you are using Internet Explorer, right? Right. So um, I had to wait for that and now I'm waiting for Java. Okay. Okay. So now Carly, how are you doing there, Carly? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you're running everything? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. So two people in, two students in group one, right? Let's see. What about Mahedi? How are you doing there, Mahedi? Did you manage to run it? it? You got it? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's just a matter of time, right? Wesley. Are you there, Wesley? Oh. Oh, Wesley must be talking by chat. Hang in there. Mm -hmm. I, I I cannot see your message. I cannot hear you, Wesley. So if you're, you know, I cannot hear you. So let me see. Uh, no answer, okay? No answer. Oh, hold on. Okay, so what happened? Did you, did you find, did you downloaded everything? How, how is your situation there? Okay, so you're, you have the application running, right? The simulation running. Just confirm that with Musa, yes. Oh, good, great. Ada, what's your situation there, Ada? It's working. Oh, great. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, you know? Doesn't it feel good when you start working everything? Okay, Jordan. Did you manage to fix your problem there, Jordan? Yeah, I got it up and running now. Oh, my, my goodness. That's great. Okay, so you managed to troubleshoot the problem you're having before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, Donica? Yes, I have it. Okay, 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 so it's slow at the beginning, right? But it looks like everybody got it. Okay, in the last 15 minutes. Shagar, you get it? Yeah, I have it. Good, well, man, makes me feel good. Okay, big smile here in my face. Lots of, lots of students are getting that. Okay, Daniela. Yeah, I have it too. Oh, wow, great, great, great. Dior. Yes, I have it. Oh, great, okay. It's a little bit of a hassle, right? Uh, we, I wish they, you know, they had chosen a, a simpler simulation to a, easy, a simulation that's easier to to do everything. So let's see, Wesley, coming back here. Okay. Okay, Shreya. Yep, mine's working. Good, great. And Peter, Peter is not here, right? Okay, Anna, okay, she managed to run it. What about Alisa and Jasmine? Alisa first, right? You get it running, Alisa? Jasmine, okay, Jasmine got it. What about Alisa? Haven't heard from Alisa. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Okay, good. Okay, so so if you didn't manage to run it, uh, there were two students that didn't manage to run it. You know, you you can just follow with me, get my data, type my data there in your in your spreadsheet, okay, and um, and follow 
without doing the the simulation. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take out points because of that. I'll just just be there, participate. Alisa has everything running here. Let's save it and good. So what I'm going to do? You know, we are going to let me start sharing my screen. Share my screen here. Okay. And let's go into the lab handout. Okay. So we go. Uh, introduction to build the RC circuits with switches and DC power supply. To learn the properties of a capacitor when it's charging and discharging in an RC circuit. Again, RC stands for resistor capacitor. It's a circuit with a resistor element and a capacitor element as well. To better understand capacitive time constant by experimentally analyze the voltage versus time data. Okay. So we can see if okay already started. Is running right in here. Okay, construct the circuit shown in figure 12.11. This diagram three shows, let's see, 12.11, this one here. Ah, okay, good. I do not know why the, okay, yeah, that's what you see when you first open the, the, the thing, right? And now we are going to build a circuit just like this one here. Okay. Let me show you how it looks like in a circuit, an actual circuit diagram. Well, wait a minute, you're going to see in an actual circuit diagram hanging there. So here you go. Uh, I want to follow exactly what we have there. The capacitor there is at the bottom right. So let me just drag everybody here. Here you go. Okay, and we start with a battery. Okay, here you go. Battery here at the left. We are going to make a circuit. Wires connect this one here. Okay, oriented properly. Another wire connected here. I'm gonna put a switch just like the switch that we use to turn on, to turn light on and off. See, I can close the switch, I can open the switch. Open, close, open, close. If it's open, no current flows through the circuit. If it closes, then we have continuity in the circuit and current flows. We go. Oh, What's going on here. So what did he do? He put. Looks like he put two resistors here. Let's see. Yeah, R one, R two, and R three. That's what he did. I can hardly see. There's a. Well, let's see. Point two. Let's see here. Let's read everything. Construct. This diagram showed two resistors and one capacitor connected in series, two switches and a battery. Set the battery voltage to five volts, the capacitance to the maximum value. Okay, circuit construction. You go, all the resistors have the same resistance value. I can hardly, okay, yeah, one resistor after, okay, after another. Okay, one resistor here, another resistor here, a third resistor here. A little bit is a little the image is a little fuzzy, but that's uh, what it's supposed to be. Okay, one resistor here, another one here, another one here. So they are all installed, those resistors are in series with the capacitor. Where is my simulation? Oh, here you go. Simulation is here. And he wants three resistors of, uh, we, we're gonna change the resistance soon. One, two, and three. Okay, and then a, uh, a wire connecting to the 
to the capacitor like that. Okay, I'm gonna get the values of the resistance soon and the value of the capacitance soon as well. Just bear with me. I'm going to pin this guy as well. I need some space here in my taskbar. I'm going to pin some of those. What's that? Yeah, I'm going to pin this one as well. Good. Now I have everything here. Everything that I need to make my life easier. Okay. Let's get this wire connected here and bring it down. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see if we have another. Yeah, we have another switch there in this branch here. Get the switch, connect it here, orient it, and another wire. And wires. Here you go. That's the circuit that I want. Now let's go get the, put the right values there. Battery is five volts, right? Yeah, five volts. So click the battery, double click the battery, huh? change voltage, let's see. Yep, right now it's nine volts. We're gonna put five volts here. Five volts. I don't want this guy here, it's in my way. What else? Capacitance. Maximum, set the battery voltage for the capacitance to the maximum value. Okay, capacitance to the maximum value, the, the resistor is 200 ohms. Apparently the cap maximum value is 0.2. Let's see, capacitance right in here. Change capacitance. Uh, Capacitor, yes, point two. Fire this. Okay, resistance a hundred. Yeah, we have ten ohms right now. So a hundred here. Right click, a hundred here, and a hundred. Right click, a hundred here. Okay. I would prefer, you know, to put a wire between those two resistors, but let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get it to show in. Yeah, this one show advanced. Both meter. Right, yeah. Yeah, this one we cannot put in. Apparently, we cannot. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot make it show like a circuit diagram. Okay, so we gotta leave this way. Battery, switch, switch, resistor, resistor, resistor. Because of that, let's see if we can get this thing here. Click junction. I'm gonna put a wire in between those 
so it became become easier to see the this the resistors that's like intense reset dynamics reset all oh. yep we got everything this one two let's see the resistors are almost invisible there, right? It's kind of difficult to, doesn't matter if they're together or if they are apart. Here you go. Here you go. Resistor, resistor, and I have 100 ohms for everyone. Now, let's see. What's next? For this kit, unlike the kit we used in the previous lab, to change, you know, the source voltage, the resistance or the capacitance, you right click on the battery, the resistor, the capacitor, and a small window. Okay, we figured that out. Click on the box for a voltmeter and connect it across the capacitor to get ready for measuring the voltage across the capacitor. Okay. So let's see if I have it here. Um, now, when I get the multimeter, where's the multimeter? Multimeter right in here. There you go. Voltmeter and connect it across the capacitor to get ready for measuring the voltage across the capacitor. Okay, so it's the capacitor. We wanna bring the multimeter here and the probes of the multimeter. The black probe should be on the capacitor side facing the negative of the battery. The red probe should be on the capacitor side facing the positive. Red for positive, black for negative. Right now it's measuring zero volts. Zero volts because the circuit is open, okay? So there's a reason why we did a circuit like that. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, okay. Right now my capacitor is uncharged. My capacitor is uncharged. You already know how to connect, how to charge a capacitor, right? All you have to do is to connect the capacitor directly to a battery and the capacitor charges instantaneously. Let me put that in my, note, in my notes here for you. Lab notes, here you go. Okay, here you go. You already know. You already know how to charge a capacitor. Okay. You have to connect it directly to a battery. Okay. When you do that, when you do that without a resistor, just a battery and a capacitor. The bat the capacitor charges instantaneously. Instantaneously. Okay. So when you connect the capacitor directly to a battery, nothing else, no resistors, nothing the capacitor charges instantaneously, okay? However, when you introduce a resistor connected in series with the capacitor, 
what happens? The capacitor discharge, but it's the capacitor discharge. However, it takes some time for it to charge. Okay. And we can you we can derive this type of uh, relation. How long we can find out how much how long it takes to charge the capacitor. It's possible up to a certain voltage. And that's what this simulation is going to show you. Okay. Takes some time for the capacitor to charge. So let's go back. And it and it all depends. It all depends on the value of the resistor. It all depends on the value of the resistor. Okay, the larger the resistance, the larger the resistance, the longer it takes for the capacitor oh, for the capacitor charge. No resistor in the circuit. Capacitor. Again, I want to repeat that. Charges instantaneously. Instantaneously. Okay. No resistor in the circuit. Capacitor charges instantaneously. That's important piece of information. And that's uh, material for that last section okay of the uh, of the chapter what 18 right let's take a look here lab notes lecture notes what we are doing right now is this one is this section here on the on the book rc circuits okay so here you go lab video lab video lab seven video right yeah. Lab seven video. Okay, so it's charging. Uh, click on the box voltmeter and connect it across the capacitor to get ready for measuring the voltage across the capacitor. You will measure the voltage uh, when it's charging and discharging. Okay. A member for the voltmeter, the red lead must be connected to the positive side of the black lead and the positive side and the black lead to the negative side of the capacitor. Click on the box for the stopwatch and reset it to zero to get ready for reading the time. Okay, so like I said, when you introduce resistors in a circuit, the capacitor is going to take some time to build up its charge. What we know that happens is that the voltage across the capacitor you know, grows like that in a asymptotic fashion, okay? It's like, you go, know, it's exponential that has an asymptotic value. It starts very fast and then flattens out to the maximum voltage that you are applying. That, you know, would be the voltage against time. And we're going to simulate that. Let me see if I can get my get hands of my illustration so you can understand better how it works. Illustration right in here. Let's see, P38. P38 illustrations. Let's see if I have it here. If I don't have here, we are, you're going to be able to plot that with the data that you got. Okay, here you go, all the charges, we saw those before. Electric field, let's see, this one, no, there's something else. We covered that. Electric potential, capacitors, 
Okay, you go capacitors, the ba very basic idea of capacitors. Uh, how to calculate the energy inside a capacitor. I covered that in my lecture video that I uploaded. You go capacitors in parallel in series. I'm gonna cover that with you. If we have RC here, RC circuit, we did that as well. He goes circuits. RC circuit should come after regular circuits. We go resistors in series and parallel. Oops, we don't have capacitor here yet. Okay, here you go. That's RC circuit. Okay, that's an RC circuit. This one right in here. See that? Battery, capacitor, and resistor. I have a switch here. Okay, initially the capacitor is uncharged, it has no charge. That's why I have the number zero here. So when I close the circuit, charges start to flow through the capacitor, through the circuit. You're gonna flow through the resistors, you're gonna flow through the capacitor, and this capacitor, little by little, is gonna be charged, becomes charged. Positive charges are charged to the, the plate facing the positive side of the battery. Negative charges accumulates on the plate of the capacitor that faces the negative of the vo of the battery. Okay, so here you go, as time goes by, see that? First, I have only one charge. Then it's two charges, right? Three charges. It, it accumulates up to a certain point. It cannot ex exceed. When it uh, reaches, when the capacitor reaches a potential difference that is equal to the battery, and that's for uh, the circuit RC. RC means resistor and capacitors in series. It, it stops charging. When the voltage of the capacitor equals the voltage of your battery, of your source, the, the the capacitor stop charging. That's how it works. Okay, so let me see if I can have a, a graph here for you. Oh yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Oh, but that's for discharging. That's not for charging. Okay, that's for charging. Yeah, that's how it happens with the with the voltage across the capacitor as time goes by. Okay, it charges very fast initially and then it slows down. The voltage is zero. The initial voltage is zero. And by the way, this equation is not right. It's incorrect. OK, I got to fix that. This, this equation is incorrect. It should be something else. Uh, it should be a different voltage, a different equation. Let me get the correct equation here for you. OK. That's the voltage. And the right equation, let me do that. Let me write it down here for you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's the voltage across the resistor. The, the, this one is correct. What about the voltage across the capacitor? The voltage across of the capacitor, that is incorrect, OK? Oh, here you go. Let me fix that. Let me see, I can't, now I cannot use it. Okay, so I gotta do that from scratch. Let me see who someone has sent a message, right? Sorry if I didn't get back, your battery is upside down. Which battery and my, my battery, my simulation? Let's see. Uh, this one is negative, right? Right, uh, Anna. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, you're right. My battery is upside down according to the drawing. Okay, good. Thank you. For let me know. So let me cut it here. Split the junction. Split the junction.
go and connect it here. Good. That was 159 huh? 10 minutes ago. So let's let me get the equation correctly for the capacitor. Lab notes. Insert. Equation. Okay, here we go. V of the capacitor. Okay, here we go. I put V sub C here. Zoom a little bit. It's gonna be V would be the voltage of the battery. Open parenthesis. Okay, is one minus exponential. We can derive that using calculus. Okay, we don't we don't do the derivation here because this is not a calculus based course. Minus T divided by RC. I'm gonna put the RC in parentheses. Okay, that and for the resistor is the complement of that. For the resistor, it must be the complement of what you see there. And the complement ends up being the exponential like that. Okay. That's how the voltage through the capacitor varies. That's how the voltage through the resistor varies when you are charging, okay? When you are charging the capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor and the resistor it's given voltages, right? Because it's two different voltages. The voltages across the capacitor and resistor. And the resistor is given by, by that respectively. One, two, three, respectively. I'm gonna copy this one and put that in my slides. For the, for the capacitor. The capacitor start discharge it. By discharge it, I mean the voltage is also zero. This is the charge is zero. The voltage is also gonna be zero. And it grows in an exponential like fashion. Actually, it's the inverse of exponential. And tends asymptotically to the value of the voltage of the battery. You cannot exceed the voltage of the battery. Otherwise, if you do exceed, then it means that you're not conserving energy in the circuit. Okay? That's for the capacitor. For the resistor, let's see, that's for the resistor. That's what happens to the voltage across the resistor. When you sum the voltage of the resistor with the voltage of the capacitor, you get V, okay? Let's do that. Let's do that in the notes. You get the voltage of the battery. If you sum, if you sum V e sub C with V sub R, you get the voltage provided by the battery. V sub R. You get the voltage of the battery. 
Okay, so I'm gonna hit go. I'm gonna copy them all. D sub C plus D sub R. That's D sub C. And that's D sub R. We go. It makes sense because it the energy across both devices should be equal to the energy that the battery is providing. Okay, so V here, this V exponential cancel out with the V exponential, and you get only V. We go. And I don't need that anymore. Save it. Oh, going back to the thing here. We are going to get, okay, the stopwatch now. We set it to zero, right? We set it to zero to get ready for reading time. And what we are going to do, we are going to show, we are going to show that uh, equation by collecting data through this experiment. So let's get, let's get our, stopwatch here, let's see. We have a stopwatch here. Mm -hmm. Grab a stopwatch right in here. Yeah. Before we go to the simulation, let me show you something else, right? I want to show you the current, how the current changes. Here is just the voltage, okay? The current is, you go, know, is something like that. The current is start very high, okay? So the flow of charges is start at its maximum value, that is I naught. I naught is going to be equal to V time, uh, I not gonna be V divided by R, the resistance. And then it decays exponentially, just like it does with the voltage, just like the voltage does, okay? If you're going to type the equation for the current, here you go, I'm gonna use this one here, through the circuit, here you go. I don't need the current through the capacitor, the current through the resistor and the current getting out of the battery should all be the same because all those elements are connected in series. What do we, what, how, how does it start? You start with the initial current. Initial current I naught and decreases exponentially like that. This, what you see right here downstairs, resistance times capacitance, is a quantity that has the dimensions of seconds. It's a quantity that has the dimensions of time, okay? It must have the dimensions on time because this exponent, this whole exponent here must have no units whatsoever. But we can also prove that RC is, is given in seconds, okay? We can also prove that. So that's what happens when you charge the capacitor. That what you charge, you know, charge the capacitor, that's, that's the voltage across the resistor when you're charging the capacitor. That's the voltage across the capacitor when you're charging. Oh, wait a minute. Not this one. Let's get it. Okay, that's the one here. Yeah. 
that's the voltage across the capacitor when you're charging the circuit. Can you picture that? This one is easy to, to see, right? It must start at voltage equal to zero because it has no charge. And it must end up at a voltage equal to the battery at a very long, you know, long instance of time. It's, that's why you have this asymptotic behavior. And here, because the, the, the capacitor is getting all the voltage across itself, the voltage across the resistor at, at time intervals that are long enough should be zero. Okay. And that's what we are going to, to see. Uh, what else you have to know? Here you go. You know, when T equal to RC, when T is equal to RC, you know, their current is going to be 37% the initial current. when the current is equal to RC. So, did I put the current here? Here you go. For the current we have, for the current in a, in a circuit, we use a charging capacitor. Relation the following. You want to take advantage of this guy? What time is that? 220, right? Current. I'm going to need that here. I'm going to put it here for now. I. This one should be I naught. The current starts very high and decreases exponentially. Now, what's I naught is equal to? Equal I naught. Equal, just remember Ohm's law. Is V divided by R. That's what I naught is. Charging the capacitor. Okay, I'll put here. Charging the capacitor. Again, I'm not proving how I got that. Okay, it involves calculus. So let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and do the experiment. We have everything that we want. Right, we're gonna get, uh, let's see, click on the box up. You will read every 15 seconds for eight minutes, okay? You're going to take uh, a reading every 15 seconds for a period of eight minutes. The first four minutes is when the capacitor is being charged. Uh, we should get like a 30 data points. Eight minutes, let's see, four four per minute. Yeah, you should get 30 data points. 32 exactly if you do that, but let, let's stick for 30, a round number. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't like the way they do it. I don't like the way they do it. Yeah, let, let, let's do differently. Uh, otherwise you're gonna get confused here. For eight minutes, you will read every the four the first four minutes is when your capacity is being charged. And the next four minutes. Okay, so let's let's do 15 data points. Okay, 15 data points instead for charging first. And then we do 15 additional data points for discharging. Okay. So here we go. Let's uh, get it here. Okay, so where is the timer? The timer, here you go, here's the timer. Let's make sure the timer is working, okay? Stop, reset, right? Make sure you click the, check in the stopwatch. Uh, can we slow down this guy? It's better if we can, 
it's low downtime. Doesn't look like we can, unfortunately. Save lifelike multimeter. Yeah, you gotta be very quick, right? You gotta be very quick. And what you're going to do is the following. Those gonna get to our spreadsheet. Everybody, spreadsheet. Okay, I'm going to create a new. A new spreadsheet here. RC. Let's see, circle. We're going to do what? Four minutes, right? Four minutes is going to be 400 and four minutes is going to be 240 seconds. That's the voltage. We're going to monitor the voltage in the capacitor. That's why I'm putting subscript C here. Format cell, subscript, like that. We start at zero. The voltage of the capacitor must be zero because it's going to be uncharged. Then we're going to 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds. Let's see if I can go and all the way down to 240. Yeah, 90. And then 40, right in here. Okay. At 15 seconds, you log the voltage. At 30 seconds, you log the voltage and so on. You gotta be quick, right? While you do that. Can we pause? Maybe we can pause the simulation. Let's see if we can pause the simulation. Yeah, we can pause the simulation. So it's not gonna be a problem, okay? So here you go. But first we have, I'm gonna pause the simulation first. I'm gonna close the switch. Right now, charges are flowing. Let's see if I can start my stopwatch. Yeah, I started my stopwatch, but it's not moving because the simulation is paused, right? Okay, and let's see. This circuit is open. So it is as though there was no branch right in here. If the circuit is open, it is as though there is nothing coming here. And all the charges are gonna have to flow through this direction. That's what this thing means when the switch is open. So let's see, let's press a little bit. Yeah, see that the voltage is increasing. When it gets 15 seconds, we pause the simulation. Look at the voltage, how it's increasing. Okay, four, five, six. That's actual real life, okay, folks? We observe that in real life. Man, it takes a long time, right? 15 seconds, I think it takes a long time. When it gets to 15 seconds, we stop the simulation. 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. I'm suspecting, here you go, stop it. Let me see, I'm, I'm suspecting that this watch is going too slow. Let's see, size, don't you? Okay, so, well, 1.117 volts at 15 seconds, it's like 15.18. So you log whatever you, you read in there. 15.18, 15.18 and the voltage is 1.117, 1.117 like that. We are going to let go for another 30 seconds. Here you go. Wait until it goes to 30 seconds and then you pause the simulation. We're gonna get around 15 points. Yeah, this guy is going slowly. I wonder why. It's not like uh, one second. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's three seconds. One second is three, one real second is three seconds in the simulation. Okay, pause. I wonder if there is any slowdown here. Let's see, stop, reset. 
uh, size, yeah. I don't see any thing that might be affecting the stopwatch. 1.979, 1.979, Just adjust a little bit. We can go ahead and continue again. We go. Now we're gonna go for 45 seconds. Okay. okay, we want to stop at 45 seconds. Oops. I stopped too early, you know, accidentally stopped too early. 41, 42, 43, 44. We want not too much. Let's see. More. Here you go. Yeah, 45, 12. 45, 12. Let's see, admit. 2.642. Forty-five point twelve, two point six four two. Okay, one more, another fifteen seconds. Let's finish that, and then we have our break. Should be sixty seconds. Next one. Fifty-three, fifty-five, thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand. Yeah, it looks like one real second is three seconds in the simulation. Yeah, we go fifty-nine ninety-seven, three one five nine. Fifty nine ninety seven three point one three point one five nine. Let's go another fifteen seconds. You should stop at seventy five. Here we go. 75.18, 3 3.571, 75.18, 3.571. Okay, here we go. You gotta go for 90 seconds. Charges are built in here, building this capacitor. Ninety seconds. Let's see. November. Okay, ninety point twelve. You're not gonna get exactly ninety seconds. Three point eight. Eight six three point eight eight six one oh five
All right, wait until 105 now. One hundred, one hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three. Here you go, one hundred five, go. Next, 120. Thanks. One hundred what? One hundred twenty. I wanna go right. Let's see here. Yeah, I wanna go to one hundred twenty. Okay, so it's still there. Okay. Oh, one twenty point fifteen. One twenty point fifteen. We got four point three two five. Three two five. Okay, 135 and so on, right? Let's finish that and we got our break. Should take what, maybe 10 minutes to do that? Thirty-five, maybe a little bit more, maybe 12, 12 minutes may take. A little bit more, but 15 minutes may, may, may take like 15 minutes. Okay, so let's see what we want. We want now 135. Okay, good. For 15 data points. Four minutes long. Yep, 32. Okay, 135.09, here you go. And we go to 150, next 150. Oops. Thousand, one thousand and one, one thousand and two, one thousand and three. Yeah, it takes three real seconds for every second in the simulation. Okay, 150.09, 150.09, 150.09, let's go more, oops, now 150, 165.
165 is coming. Here you go. 16509. 16509. And that's 48, 48, 4681. 4.681. Okay. Oh, you got the idea, right? So you go all the way up to 240. So go ahead, finish that. It is, I'm not gonna finish on my side. Let me see what time is that. Let's see what time we had our break first. Our first break, 5.40, right now is what, 6.40. Okay, so we can go for our break right now. That's been one hour. Okay, break from, break from 6.40. Six. to 6.55, it's, uh, it's 42 right now, 42 to 6.57. Okay, so I put here my watch, my stopwatch to work. If you want to continue with this simulation, yeah, you can continue. And then we, we go for what the, we look at the, what he's asking there in the handout, okay? There we go. Break. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Any questions before I before I go? Any questions before the break? We have okay. So let me turn off my video and I'll turn off my mic.
Okay, I'm back here. So I hope you have finished collecting all the data. I didn't finish, but uh, I, I, I myself has enough data. Make sure you do uh, all the way up to 240. Okay, note see that this voltage is increasing, right? Little by little until five volts, until it reaches five volts. That's how, how this, you know, this voltage behaves. Is moving, is increasing asymptotically to zero to five. Let's get, let's share the screen. And yeah, this is the screen, that's good. Let's go to our, okay. So let's, let's see, let's see if we have any graphs. We're, we're going to do the discharging very soon. Bear with me, okay? We're, we're, going, we're not gonna do the discharging yet. So let's see if he's asking to plot anything here. Discharging. Now you're about to get, uh, okay, here's the table, okay? Is the table, but no need for this column voltage. Yep, I already did the, the table for you. Okay, so let, let me go through one by one of you folks, see if how you're doing there. If you got everything, all the data. So Bella, did you get uh, all the data that you need there for charging yeah, the capacitor? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All the way up to 240 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Annabella? Yes. Yes. You you got did you get your simulation running there, by the way? Um, not quite, but I I've been following along, so I have all the points. Okay. Okay, so you know, talk to your group members, you know, because I didn't connect, collect all the data, and get the, you know, get all the data that you need there. Sarah. Yes, I got it. Okay, did you get the the simulation running in your computer? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, that's good to know. Carly, do you get the? Oh, we are doing only the charge. We didn't start doing the discharging yet. Okay, Carly, how did you you get all the data to until two hundred and forty seconds? Yes, I'm good. Okay, good. What about Mahadi? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Mahadi, good. Wesley? Yep, I'm all good. Okay, good. Ada? Yes. Okay, Jordan? Yes. Okay, Donika? Yes. Okay, Shagar Nurali? I'm good. Okay, Daniela. Yes. Okay, Dior Simons. Yes. Okay, so it looks like everybody's Shreya. I'm good at two. Okay, Ana Ponce. Yes. No problem. Okay, Kelly. Um. Well, it ended up freezing and it kicked me out of the um, lab uh. sim simulation. Okay. Okay. So the, try to do that after after the you know the, the class. Did, are you running it again, or how 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 is the situation? Did you manage to um, freeze it? Not yet. Um, I was gonna do it later on after I came back from work. Okay. Easy. Okay. I'm gonna put no here, but we're gonna do it later on. Alisa. Is Alisa there? I cannot hear you, Alisa. Yeah, it looks like Alisa left, huh? Oh, yeah, I don't see Alisa there. Left, let's put there. Yep. Yeah. And Jasmine. Yes. Okay, good. So we go. So let's see how that uh, graph looks like. 
I'm going to plot B, C against C. It should be like a decaying exponential. Uh, wait a minute. No, not a decaying exponential. An exponential that increases, right? Just like that, that graph that I showed to you. Okay, it's moving asymptotically to, to five volts. If I let it run long enough, it's gonna reach five volts. Okay, um, uh, let's go get the simulation right in here. I'm gonna let it play until it reaches five volts. Okay, R, R, you know, R in this case is gonna be 300 ohms. C is gonna be what, 2.2 Faraday, right? Let's see here. No, I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna leave it this way. Let me just get the, it's 0 0.2 Faraday, right? It's not 0 0.2 pico Faraday, let's see here. Point two farad, okay. Three hundred ohms, point two farad. And if you is increasing, you know what happens here. RC corresponds to a value of 63% of five volts, okay? When it's charging, whenever it's charging, you correspond to 63% of five. 63% of five, that's what that exponential is all about. You can do the math yourself. Okay, so here you go, let's do the math. Lab notes. Right in here, this one right in here. Okay, there's the capacitor being charged. When T is equal to RC, okay? When T is equal to RC, which is the time constant of the circuit, they, yeah, it's easy to calculate this exponential. Okay, it becomes exponential to minus one. RC is like the circuit constant. When you do this mass, what do you get? You know, let's do that in, let's do this mass in Excel, right? Go here to Excel. One minus, you go, equal one minus exponent of minus one. Huh? Exponent of minus one. You should get what, 63%? Yeah, 0.63, right in here. So when T is equal to RC, you, you're supposed to get 63% of five. 63% of five, you know, is gonna be 6.3, gonna be around 3.15. Yeah, 3.16, a little bit more. 3.16 volts, and RC is what? RC is 0.2 Faraday plus three resistors of 100 ohms is 300 ohms. We get uh, 60 seconds. At around 60 seconds, which should be around here. Yeah, 59.97. You should have a voltage of three, uh, approximately 3.16. I'm getting 3.159, okay? Let me see if I can zoom in now, the number doesn't zoom in. But around 60 seconds right in here, here you go. Yeah, goes according to the theory. You should get around 3.16. I'm getting 1.3.159, which is very close. Okay, that's for whenever, you know, we are you looking at this curve here. When you are discharged, when you're, for the current is different. Go, let's show here. Yeah, for the current is the complement of 63%. Is the complement of 63%, it's point, uh, point 0.37. And we should put here I naught 
point thirty seven of I not. Okay, this guy here. Subscript. Oh. Go for it. Yeah. Point thirty seven I not. for the others you know this one here will be 0 0.63 not uh, because it's increasing whenever the curve is decreasing it's 0.37 okay this one too point, point 0.63 no no this one is 0.37 sorry this one is 0.63 so we go. i'm gonna cut Oops. Oh. So, point thirty seven. That's not I not. That would be point thirty seven B. Let's see how we're doing here. Yep. That would be 0.63. This one's going to be a little bit higher around here. There we go. 0.63. C that's the That's exactly what we see in this graph. What I want to do, here you go, let's see the simulations running, right? Uh, simulations running right in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we are very close to five volts. See that? We didn't get five volts yet, but uh, it's getting close enough. What we are going to do now, we are going to discharge. We're going to discharge the capacitor. And how do we do that? That's good enough for me. I'm going to open the circuit. Oh, no, not here. Here you go, I opened the circuit. Now you should have no change right in here. I'm gonna stop my stopwatch, reset it. The potential difference across the plates of the capacitor is almost five volts. And what are you going to do? Now we are going to discharge the capacitor. At this very moment, you know, it is as though as this part of the circuit was disconnected. That's what, uh, and also you can see that this part of the circuit is disconnected as well. So what we are going to do, in order to discharge the capacitor, we are going to use this loop of the circuit instead. This one right in here. This loop has only resistors and no power supplies. Note C that the voltage remains constant, very close to five volts. Because why is that? Because I didn't close my circuit yet. Now the battery is out of the circuit. The battery is not part of the circuit whatsoever. The initial circuit was this loop here. That was the initial circuit. When I close this switch. Okay. And when we had the battery in the circuit, the capacitor was charging. And now we are going to concentrate on this loop of the circuit here. 
to discharge the capacitor. We have positive charges on the, on the right side, negative charges on the capacitor on the left side. I'm gonna pause the simulation. The stopwatch has been reset. My initial voltage is five volts. Okay, let me set up the, the other one here. Yeah, I'm gonna do here. The first column is charging. The second column now is going to be discharging. I don't need, I don't need to change my time. Let's see. You know what? Let's change because we cannot, we may not get the same values, right? We're going to go for the same values or same time interval, 0, 15, 30, and so on. And we're going to monitor what's going to be the The voltage here time t equal to zero. The voltage is four nine five eight. Write that down. Four point nine five for my case, right? For your case, it might be a little bit different. The closer to five, the better. Okay, and then it should have like fifteen. Oh, I already have here. Right, I don't need to write down. I can refer to those numbers here. And Go. Click on the box for the first four minutes. I mean, I'm doing separately in, a, in, a, in separate tables. So we know which one's the charge. I, I, I prefer that we do in separate tables. The handout did everything in a single table, you know? Now you're about to get started. Record the voltage reading on the multimeter for the first four minutes. Keep it switched. Uh, let's see here. Uh, discharge when the first, uh, click on the hand, yep. That we're going to close very soon. We didn't close yet. We we're about to get started recording the voltage reading on the multimeter for the first four second minutes. Keep the first switch closed and the second open. Yeah. During the eight, uh, I think it's recommended to pause the simulation at the end of period of this of charging. Yeah, you can even pause at every reading and resume in table one. Okay, we're gonna do the discharging now. Okay, so what I did, I broke down this table in two. I don't like the, you know, you have to do that from, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, continue recording here. It's not, you start from zero, okay? You start from zero. Okay, so let's go and start the simulation. We, everything is paused, right? If I close this circuit, nothing is gonna change. But when I press here, I already have my first data point at time t equal to zero is 4.958. Go ahead, start. Oh, wait a minute. I made a mistake. I forgot to start here my watch. Okay, here you go. Don't forget to start start your stopwatch, right? I lost some from the voltage already. It's gonna be a, a small, you know, mistake and a small difference, but that's okay. There you go. Now we have it. When it gets to 15 seconds, you pause the simulation and write down the values. I let it run for what? For one second at least, right? But that's okay, it's a small mistake that we're introducing to the experiment. Okay, I accidentally paused it. When you get 15 seconds, we pause and take the reading.
Let's wait. Getting there. Oh, here you go. I got it. 15.12, 3.836. 15.12. Three point eight, right? Eight three six. Let's see if I can think this a little bit so I can have both in the same screen. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I kind of can. Okay, well, here's my multimeter, right? Go ahead. Let's wait for 30 seconds. We want to get to 30 seconds. The voltage is decreasing. So the capacitor is discharging. Like I said, that's exactly what we see in real life. Four, three, two, one, oops, zero. Oh, I got 30 seconds exactly. And I read the multimeter 2.993. Continue, we go. 45 seconds. Multimeter here. Let me move the multimeter a little bit to the left. We want 45 seconds now. Okay, here you go. 45.15. 15 and 2.3325. Okay, let's go. Next 60 seconds. There you go, 60.09, 60.09, and the, oh, 1.813, 1. here you go, more. That's 75 seconds next. Seventy five oh six point oh six and so on, right? Let's uh, one four one two. You know, you know what to do, right? Let's let's see what, what, what else. I don't want to do all the data here in case we have too much stuff to do. Let's see what he's asking. 
next, okay? Oh, yeah, calculate 300 ohms times 0 0.2 Faraday in 60 seconds, okay? Compare, that's what we did, 0 0.67 times 5 volts, calculate the percentage difference. Oh, got to calculate for discharging, calculate again, 60 seconds, we know that from your data, find the voltage at 67, 60 seconds after you start discharging. Okay, 0.33, well, no, 33% that I mentioned to you, right? Uh, let's see, 0.33, there's something wrong here. Yeah, that's, that's okay, 0 0.67, 0 0.33, that's okay. 0.33, it should be 1.65, calculated percent. Okay, part three, analyzing the results. Okay, here you go. Here is the equation that I already displayed to you. Okay, yeah, we did that half time. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. okay. Using the half time, half time. Okay, uh, let's see, next we will do the mic capacity time. Okay, you, you know, you skip this one, okay? Skip this one, number two. Skip number three. Okay, he's talking about half time for the charging period. And uh, next we determine the capacitive time constant using the half time. Uh, you were introduced to half time in radioactive decay. Yeah, we didn't do that. We didn't do a radioactive decay. So I do not know what he's talking about. Okay, so this is the time it takes for the voltage across the capacitor. Okay, so we skip two, three, calculate that. Capacitive time constant. Okay, but you can calculate the theoretical value for the capacitive time constant. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, no, we already did that. Okay, you, you skip that. What you can do, you can linearize, linearize uh, find the equation for the best fit line. Yeah, you can linearize too. Let's do that. Okay, you skip those. Make it, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see here. Make a graph. Yeah, you did that. Okay. Make a graph for the voltage across the capacitor versus time. You must get a nonlinear graph, an increasing part in the voltage approach a maximum value by a decrease uh, to the zero. Yeah, that would be, make a graph for the voltage across. Yeah, the two graphs. That's what he's asking here, right? One of the graphs, we already did it. One of the graphs we already did, which was the, the charging. This one is the discharging. So make two graphs. Okay, uh, time constant, which is the half lifetime for the charging period and discharging period. You can, you are into the half life. Yeah, that's, you skip it. Skip it. Skip two. Using half life time to determine the changes. Yeah, I skip uh, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip items two, two, six. Okay. But you gotta do this. The, the graphs, which is part three. You gotta get a percentage difference. I already asked you to do that, right? Let's see here. Yeah, copy that. You, I don't think you have that part. Everything that's in red here. I think it's better organized. Okay. Let's see. 327, we have one more hour to go, 50 more minutes to go. Okay. Any questions? I didn't finish yet, but uh, the graph I didn't finish. 
We are not going to linearize, okay? Just those two graphs are enough. Let me write that down here for you. The, I have notes. 57 steps to collect data. Uh, charge of capacitor, yeah, pause the simulation, open the upper switch. Okay. Plot VC, okay, VC versus T capacitor charging. And then plot VC for capacitor discharging. You see, you know, is the voltage of the capacitor, capacitor discharging. So what you're doing, you're just an entire, okay. Step to collect data, zero to 240, okay. Um, close the switch, step to collect data. What you're going to do here, let me, I'm going to change it here, here goes, running the simulation, step to collect data, charge your capacitor from 0 to 240 seconds, pause the simulation every 15 seconds, right, 15 seconds, collect the data, and the voltage, and the voltage and time. Okay. At two hundred and forty seconds, collect your last data point. Collect your last data point, and that the simulation. And let's see, and uh, yeah, collect your last data point for charging. Here you go. Okay. Okay, what well, steps collect data while charging the capacitor? Open the upper switch. Make sure the make sure the lower switch is also open. Okay. Oh, what else? Before you open the switch, before you open the switch, make sure the voltage across faster goes five volts. Let's say, you know, like uh, 4.95, that's a good, that's a good value. Okay, you're never gonna reach five volts exactly. But if you, if you get this much value, you know, you are just 1% off of five volts. Okay, so here you go. Now, step collect data while discharging the capacitor. While discharging, discharging the capacitor. What? 
open the uh, okay the, the let's see the open the upper switch is already open right let's see make sure the vote oh yeah let's see make sure the voltage is close to five volts now you can open the upper switch just like i did steph collect data while discharging the capacitor okay write down write down your last voltage value and charging the circuit so it should be something very close to five maybe 4.95 in my case in my specific case that value was 4.958 okay you yours must be slightly different maybe it's slightly different Steps uh, right down your last voltage when charging this circuit. This is your this is your first data point for discharging first data point discharging the capacitor at t equal to zero. Close the lower switch. Continue running the simulation until 200, until 240 seconds. Seconds. While collecting data every 15 seconds. Every seconds okay this uh this procedure is less confusing i prefer this way save it i'm gonna save it as a pdf as well first time i did the experiment the, i did this experiment i did just like the and out did, but uh, it causes some confusion to the students. So I prefer that you folks do it this way. And you have part of my data. If I plot what I have, okay, I don't have everything, but if I plot what I have, it's going to be something. Similar to what you saw. Here insert yeah just part of the exponential decay i didn't collect everything right but it's going down to zero i kept on collecting more data you'd see so my rc constant is around here 1.813 60 seconds 60.09 okay is point thirty what's well, point thirty three percent right? Let's go let's go and check point thirty three percent of five. Point thirty seven percent of five. Okay. Zero. Zero. One point eight five. And at six seconds, 60 seconds should be 1.813 that I'm getting. I'm getting 1.813 because I lost a little bit of data at the beginning. Do you remember? I'm getting like one and a half percent difference. That's that's not bad. You can calculate the percentage difference as well. Okay, so that's what we have here. Any any questions? You couldn't collect all the data you'll be able to do later on at home okay I collect just a few of those here but uh, you know rather straightforward right straightforward and again don't forget do what i did here start from zero start the data from zero not from 240 like the, the handout said okay 
both for charging and discharging, you, you start for t equal to zero. You you even gonna be able to plot. Let's see. Let's get uh, exponential fit here. Let's see if I can get. No, this one I cannot get exponential fit. I can get exponential fit in this one here. Add the line. Go. Exponential fit. The equation. They are square. Okay, I'm getting this exponential fit here. Four point nine four, not exactly five, and this exponent exponent value here point zero one seven times x. Point zero one seven should be one divided by sixty. Okay, let's see if it's one divided by sixty. One, if it is one, one divided by sixty. Point zero one six seven, one six six seven. Yeah, you have 0 0.017. So it's close enough. Okay, time constant here matches my exponential, you know, decay. This this fit here apply it can be done only for discharge. You cannot be done for charging. This exponential fitting can do can be done only for the second graph, not for the first one. Okay. Seconds, we get uh, 240 divided by 64. Yeah. So keep that in mind. You're supposed to get, let's see how many data points you have. One, two, three, four, four, five. You are supposed to get eight, 17 data points for each simulation, okay? For both charging and discharging. Keep that in mind, 17 data points. You start at two, goes all the way down to 18. Row 18, 17 data points. Okay, folks, I guess that's it. That's it for today. You don't forget this is chapter, the last uh, section of the book. The, the, the section before the last one in the book. And the, you can use that as your notes, as your video for the lecture. You don't have any questions, we can stop here now. I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna have uh, office hours as well, okay? Thank you, Professor. Okay. Um, Welcome, Shagar. By the way, this video.